Well, if you listen to Democrats in Washington, some Republicans, by the way, talk too, you hear a lot about the existential threat of climate change. They claim to believe that, but they don't live like they believe it. We could give you a million examples. Here's the latest. President Obama apparently is in the process of paying $15 million for an oceanfront home in Martha's Vineyard. Huh? Trace Gallagher returns with more on that story tonight. Hey, Trace. Tucker, the former president and first lady have spent much of the summer in a rented home on Martha's Vineyard. You know, cozy little cottage, 7,000 square feet, seven bedrooms, pool, outdoor kitchen, second story jacuzzi, and oh, it's on 29 acres of oceanfront real estate. We're told they love the home. In fact, as you mentioned, they're going to buy it. List price, $14.8 million. That's not to say the Obamas are paying full tilt, though even when the former president was recently talking about income inequality, he had to admit that he's really rich. Watch. I should add, by the way, right now I'm actually surprised by how much money I got. There's only so much you can eat. There's only so big a house you can have. 7,000 square feet to be exact, which is only tiny if you're Al Gore. The former vice president's Nashville home is more than 10,000 square feet. And in 2017, right before his documentary, An Inconvenient Sequel, opened, the National Center for Public Policy Research, a conservative think tank, estimated the vice president used 21 times more energy than the average American. That's just in the Nashville home. They didn't figure in the other two. Turns out being a congresswoman, not nearly as lucrative as being a president or vice president. Democrat Maxine Waters' California home, valued at a mere $4.3 million, and that home is not even in her district. Tucker. Amazing. Amazing. Go to what people think. Watch how they live. Trace Gallagher, great to see you.